Hey there guys, it's Psycho Ren here with another update in the world of Apple today. So uh, Apple just released 9.3.1 earlier today and uh, if you haven't already, I'm going to actually put the link for the downloads and I'll show you the website on where to download it in the description below. But uh, let's go and get on into what's going on in uh, in the world of Apple because there's a lot there's a lot going on. Uh, so first and foremost for me uh, personally, have you, I never have dropped my phone before, but today it happened. And unfortunately, I'm glad that I do have this screen protector on there, but and it saved my phone. But I gotta, you can probably see a little bit of a, a little hair crack right there, and just right in there too. And uh, it just it ruined my day. This 2016 is going to a rough start. I already dropped my phone. Um, but you know the glass shield protected it, so I, I can't complain. I can easily see the difference between the actual glass shield and the the crack on the phone. But it's not that you know noticeable, so I'm glad that it's not like all completely shattered. But you know you know the show must go on, so I'm gonna be still using this phone for my uh, for my videos and my tutorials until I get something new. iOS 9.2 beta 3 9.2 9.3 beta 1 my gosh they have there's just way too many firmwares out there like this page if like this video if you think there's way too many firmwares and apple just needs to get their act together and they just need to give us what we want uh but let's go and get into this and by that we're going to go into safari and if you do want to download the the public beta uh, there w i'm sure there's going to be one coming out for 9.3 beta 1 uh, or at least 9.3 beta 2 uh, just stay tuned to that you can actually go into apple or beta.apple.com and it brings you to this page and you can actually enroll your device to um, you know uh, get the public betas when they come out before anybody else gets them so make sure you go to beta.apple.com sign up and you'll be able to go ahead and get the public betas when they come out but there isn't one for 9.3 beta 1 you're gonna have to actually manually go to a website and download that and I just did that just by Google searching and I ended up coming up to this site iOS 9 city.com I'm actually leave their link in the description below I'm sure they get a lot of followers too and they get a lot of you know cred so go ahead and go to them and they're a really good site to go to I personally don't have an actual website uh, I just have my Facebook page and my uh, Instagram page and my Twitter feed, but that's pretty much it. I don't have an actual site to go to, so maybe one day in the future I'll, I'll get a site and start posting things on there and links. That way you guys can just go ahead and go to that instead. But you can easily search on Google, you know, iOS 9.3.1 uh, beta download, and you can easily go to one of these sites. And usually these sites just show... Um, you know what the change logs are and how to go ahead and install it um, most of these are you know you're gonna have to download the actual software like here it is here's a link right there you can download it from your your PC from right there but uh, most of these are you'll have to download it the actual software to your PC and then you'll plug in your device into your iTunes and uh, to your PC and launch iTunes excuse me and after you'll be asked to um, to either restore or update, you're gonna hit shift if you're on a PC, or you're gonna hit uh, control, or excuse me, um, yeah, I believe it's control for Mac. I have PC, but you'll hit shift, and you'll click on the restore iPhone um, button right there, and then you can search for the actual firmware and install it to your device, and it'll install it there. Unfortunately, there's no way to do this over the air, uh, and I actually don't prefer it doing over the air. It's it's probably going to make it even worse for you to jailbreak it, which kind of brings me to my next subject. But before I get into that, uh, I want to actually go into the different um, changes that has happened with iOS 9.3 beta 1. So let's go ahead and get into that. So. Let's see here on Mac rumors I actually let's go ahead and do this let's bring up the read bar so we can go ahead and read this there's been a lot of new changes in iOS 9.3 they actually took um, a tweak from Cydia I'm sure everybody knows this tweak is how do you know how do you condemn your phone when it's late at night so it's easier on your eyes and they took a tweak from Cydia and they implemented it into one of their software. So that's some, it's something that I kind of I, I get and I don't get at the same time is what I don't get about it is why can't Apple 
you know, um, if if all these different tweaks work on Cydia, then how come Apple just can't implement them on their firmwares and just get the firmware, you know, right in the first part in the first place? We always have to fight for different things, different types of multitasking, or if it's this uh, f.lux or um, you know, um, d just there's different tweaks that you can do. Uh, YouTube Red was actually one of the tweaks where where you could actually download YouTube videos. That was a tweak from Cydia. This f.lux was another one. The different types of multitasking, being able to bring up this bar. There's been so many things that have been, even just this, even just multitasking just this, this way, was something a long time ago was one of the main requests that people had for a long time for, for their Apple devices. I remember this be, this actual frame or the way that this looks or even um, there's other ways that you can you know manipulate your multitasking but particularly this one I remember this being a, a, a an actual multitasking tweak in Cydia that you could get on your jail broken devices and it just it's astonishing how little by little Apple is slowly coming over or they're seeing the light so all we can do is just hope for the best in the near future and that hope that you know Apple will go ahead and install more of these tweaks that we see on Cydia onto our you know onto their um, onto their updates so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the actual uh, changes that's going on um, from 9.3 we have uh, changes with the watch OS I believe there is going to be a uh, an, an Apple Watch 2 coming out, so I'm sure that's going to be even more functionality with it too. It says iPhone is able to pair with more than one Apple Watch. Both updates are required, uh, with each watch running Watch OS 2.2 and the iPhone running iOS 9.3. Watch OS 2.2 was ceded to the developers alongside 9.3. So there you go. You can see you can up or pair your phone with multiple um, Apple Watches. I can't see that being very uh, um, useful unless you have two watches, but that's beyond me why you would have two Apple watches. It's more that's more of a want than a need personally. But if you have more than you know one Apple watch, you can have your phone on both watches. So I I, I personally don't see the the need for that. But there's there's somebody out there who actually needs that and actually will use that. Uh, going on is the night shift is what I was talking about, the f.lux. Um, it allows basically your phone to dim or the screen to dim while it's later on in the day. That way your eyes aren't so adjusting to the phone. So it makes it a lot easier on your eyes, which is something I think they should have had a long time ago, honestly. The notes section is now password protected. Uh, Apple News has new algorithms in there so you can see more um, articles that that are meant for you and you don't have to go searching for the right article the, you know they've made articles that will catch your eye and there, there are some things that will pop out to you more than before there's uh, the health app has been updated I check the health app from time to time I really you know I can't I don't even know where my own health app is from time <laughs> Let me see if I can even find it. There it is it's on my front page too. I do check it from time to time, and it, it's funny how it does check your um, your movement without you even having to log in there. It automatically does that for you. So it checks the steps I've been taking today, my distance of walking and running, and how many floors I've climbed, and it's actually pretty interesting that how much how much it tracks your uh, your health. But there's new changes to that. CarPlay was another one. Uh, I actually just saw a commercial for a Chevy Malibu that's going to have CarPlay now. So it looks like they're going to be bringing that into cars that are going to be even more affordable to us. So, you know, the Chevy Malibu starts at like $24,000 or something like that. Um, and it has, you know, CarPlay in it, which is amazing. Um, so iOS 9.3 is adding CarPlay. Uh, now there's a new education app. Uh, it says 9.3 includes multiple education-oriented features, including shared iPads for students, a new classroom app, and an Apple School Manager. So can't wait to see what that's about. Um, so that's going to be interesting to see what's going on with the education. So uh, a lot of new changes in 9.3. Again, we're still on 9.2 Beta 2. 
uh, as far as um, as far as updates go, and that's the latest one that we can get right now. Um, 9.3 beta one just rolled out, and it's it's crazy how how much they're pumping these firmwares out. But you know what? If they if it's fixing bugs, and from what I hear and from what I've seen online, it looks like it's it's not bad and it's actually been speeding up it's pretty fast with other old devices so it looks like it's not a bad um, move for apple and, and these different changes and are, are it's going to mean the, oh, the whole world for a lot of people uh not only these changes but i also heard that they and i've seen that there are also changes to um touch id so when we you know touch into settings we don't really get any sort of pop-ups but we will be getting different pop-ups for like the iTunes store. There's different. There's gonna be more things on the iTunes store list, or even on the App Store. Um, but if you are looking towards jailbreaking your phone, I don't recommend updating to 9.3 Beta One. Um, if you're on a lower firmware, if you're on 9.0.2, uh, just because you'll lose that jailbreak and you can't go back to it. Unfortunately, Apple is not seeding iOS 9.0.2, so don't upgrade if you still want to keep your jailbreak. I'm going to still keep mine off of this phone, and I'll have my other one that I, that I work off of uh, with the newer releases or for the new uh, software. Um, but as for this one, this is my this is my main, this is, my, this is the big daddy here. I use this one for, for everything, so I'm not going to be losing my jailbreak for, for a couple of new features that I can get through Cydia. So, it's my little take on it. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing a, another video, a part two to this video. Uh, stay tuned for that. It looks like we might have a jailbreak for 9.3 very soon. Um, so I'll definitely, that's just going to be the little spoiler alert. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to go ahead and post that up in just a, a little bit after I do this one. So for all things Apple Plus, this is Psycho Red here. I hope you guys have a good rest of your night, guys. Peace.